Hey everyone and a very very good evening. So how are you all doing? All right. So we have Gungun Tagore here. Yes, good evening Charvi. Hi Anshita. Yes. Hey Nibha Chaudhary. Good evening Disha. Good evening Vartika. Good evening Fenil. I am doing good. Thanks for asking. Yes, good evening Disha. Hey Kriti Gandhi. Yes. Keshvi Vaghela. Ah, uh, all right. Keshvi is saying I'm perfectly visible and audible. Good evening Nikesh Madhvi. Hi Deepak. Hi Papiya. Hey Aditi. Hi Dhanesh. Hi Neha Kamble. Yeah. Suraj Pal is here. Good evening. Nirmala Dubaria. Arctic Gamer. Yes, we have Tanvi here. Ami OT7 World. Suhani Dhruv. Akash. Nidhi Agrawal. Pranav. Hey, hello everyone and I hope that you all are doing good. So all of you know what today's session is all about, right? So what are we going to study today? So today we are going to discuss some critical questions for circles, right? Yes. So these questions are very good from exam point of view, trust me. And there are going to be some challenging questions also in today's session. So shall we begin? Yes. Are you all ready? Good evening, Yasharth. Yes. Didi Park. Yes, I checked that you have posted the homework. Yes. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Yes, Nasri Zansari is saying, yes, ma'am. Disha, yes, ma'am. Gokul S, Nibha Chaudhary. Let's begin. Let's not waste any more time here. So here we have our first question. So in this figure, a quadrilateral ABCD is drawn to circumscribe a circle. We need to prove that NM plus OP is equal to NO plus PM. See, first of all, you would say that it's a very simple question. All of you would know how to solve it, right? But why we have picked up this question, one main thing over here is question says that you can see that it is circumscribing it, right? And these are nothing but these are over here are the tangents, right? It is intersecting the circle at exactly one point, right? Now, so we can say that we know that the length of tangents drawn from, its, from an external point to a circle are equal in length, right? So here, if this is the external point, I can say that this NA and NB are going to be equal. Let's mark this as equation number one. This is the external point. So OC and OB are going to be equal. If this is the external point, this P, so this CP and PD are going to be equal. Similarly, if M is the external point, so AM and DM are going to be equal. We have marked them as one, two, three, four. Yes, Suraj Pal. Though it's an NCRT question, but there's a very common mistake that students do generally here. I'm not talking about all the students, but yes, sometimes I've seen that students do get stuck here. So what is that thing? See what happens is, you know that in the next step, now we are going to add these equations up, right? So once I add them up, so we generally write them in this way. Yes, you would say that ma'am, whether we write NA equals to NB or NB equals to NA, it's one and the same thing. But you have to be really careful while writing them all because next step is that we are going to add all these equations up, right? So once I add them up, I have NA AM plus OC plus OP. So whatever is written on the left side, they all will be added up. And whatever is written on the right side of the equal to sign, they all will be added up, right? Yes. What happened? Uh, Fennel, Ami OT7 world, you're not able to see the session. Uh, Ashwarya is saying, I can see ma'am. Ishika Agarwal. I hope that everyone is able to see me and hear me, right? Yes. Arvind Singh says now and giving a thumbs up. Charvi saying mine is running. Nibha Chaudhary, I can see ma'am. Great. So there is no glitch, right? So let's continue. Now what we are going to do here is I'm going to add them up, right? So NA plus AM, NA plus AM, right? That will give me NM, the entire length. Again, this OC plus CP, that will give me entire length OP. Similarly, this NB plus OB, that will give me entire length NO. And this PD plus DM, that will give us PM. See, if you're writing them in this way, then it's very simple to, for you to add them up because NA plus AM will give you NM. 
But suppose, let's suppose, let me go to the previous slide. Let me show you what mistakes students generally do here so that you should be careful while solving these questions. Let's suppose you write NB over here and NB over here. Then you won't be able to add all them up, right? So you have to be really careful while adding them. And sometimes it's happen, it happens with the students and they're not able to figure out why they're not able to come to the final conclusion. Yes, Army OT7 World. Now you're able to see me, yes? Okay, great. Sef, yes, please refresh it once because all the students are not facing this issue. Yes. All right. So I hope that you have understood that what kind of mistakes we might, might make here, right? Yes, Keshri Vagela, I saw that you have responded to yesterday's homework and it's really good. You guys are really disciplined, I must say. Ishika Tripathi, no, we won't have Menti today, but we'll be discussing some very diff some challenging and some important questions from exam point of view today. Gayatri Singh is saying visible now. D. Deepak, yes. Uh, Arvind Singh is saying restart it and then it will work. All right. Okay, okay, let's move on to the next question. We have question number two here. So in this given figure, if AP is equal to 12 centimeter, what does AP here? AP is this, is this length. This is nothing but that's a tangent, right, to the circle which is drawn from this external point. So that's 12 centimeter. Question is saying find the perimeter of triangle ABC. Now when I need to find out the perimeter, the first thing that comes to my mind is that I have to add all these sides up. I do not have their side length. So how do I find this out? Yes, yes, Surajpal, I know that you responded to that. That's really nice. Yes. Uh, the homework question two of two days ago session. Keshvi Vagela, I remember that Fenil was also asking the same thing in the yesterday's session. Right, Fenil? So today I won't be discussing it, but in the next session that we have on Monday, definitely I'll discuss that question. Yes. Yes, D. Deepak, I know that you have responded to. I always check who all have responded to the homework. All right. All right. So now we know one thing that this A is nothing but that's the external point to this circle, right? Yes, Fennel. Okay. So this AP is nothing but that's 12 centimeter. So this AP over here and AQ over here, these are nothing but these are the external tangents drawn to this circle. So their length are going to be equal, right? So we can say that AP and AQ both are going to be 12 centimeter, right? And this is also an external point if you think this B over here, right? So this PB and BD, uh, they will also be equal, correct? From here also, this is point C, this is an external point, the CD and CQ will also be equal, right? Okay. Now I can say one thing, that is AP, it actually comprises of AB plus PB, correct? So I can write it here, and this AQ over here is nothing but that's AC plus CQ. I can write it this way, yes? Okay, now, perimeter of triangle ABC is nothing but that's AB plus BC plus AC. AB can, we can write it this way, AC as it is, and this BC can be written as BD plus CD, correct? Make sense? Yes? Yes? All right. Now, here we know that BD and PB are equal, CD and CQ are equal. We do not have the side lengths of AB, BC and AC. We have to replace them with something else, right? So that we can get the side lengths. So here I'll write AB, I'll write AB plus PB. We are clubbing them because I'm replacing BD with PB. Right here, I'm replacing CD with CQ, so we have CQ plus AC. Now I can easily add them up. You see, AB plus PB is what? That's AP, and CQ and AC. That's basically AQ. So that's 12 plus 12. That's going to be 24 centimeter. This is a very good question from exam point of view, and you have seen that we have given the stepwise marking as well. Yes, yes, 24 centimeter. Uh, Sef Pasha, uh, 24 centimeter is the answer, final answer. Right. All right, so all of you have understood, right? How to find this out. Short summary. Okay, short summary is basically, question is asking us the perimeter of triangle ABC. That is what? That is AB plus, that is AB plus BC plus CA. Correct? I do not have the side lengths of all of them. I only have AP 12 centimeter. If AP is 12 centimeter, AQ will also be 12 centimeter. Makes sense because both of them are drawn from the same external point correct now I'll try replacing them with something else so that I can put the side length here so what I can do is I can write this BC as BD plus CD I'm splitting them up this BC BD can be replaced with PB CD can be replaced with CQ now you add them up you club them so this AB plus PB becomes AP this becomes AQ put the values you get 24 centimeter 
right? I hope your doubt is clear now. D. Deepak, this was a summary. Yes. Mm. Akash, crystal clear? Great. Nibha, we do not have menti. Yes, Sia Medha, crystal clear. Yes, D. Deepak. BD equals to BP. See, this, uh, uh, Deepak, this is the external point to the circle, right? Like A is an external point. This is also an external point. From here, two tangents are drawn, BD and BP, correct? Similarly, C is also an external point to this circle. From here, also two tangents are drawn. We know that length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal in length. Yes, Deepak? Yasharth Kesarwani, I have explained it one more time. I hope that's cl it's clear to all of you now. Sef Pasha is saying, yes, clear. Uh, Fennel, I have a test of maths next, next week. Some applications of trigonometry and circles is included. I hope this, this will help me. Well, all the very best, Fennel. I, I'm sure that you would do very good in your exam. Sef is saying, understood. Aditi, yes, ma'am. Disha, Deepak, understood. Yashad Kesarwani, yes ma'am, done. Vinod Kumar, crystal clear. Great. All right. So if you, if you might, if you come across such kind of questions in the exam, so you should know that like in this entire line, this is also an external point of the circle, right? This can also be used here. Let's take a look at the next question. So in the given figure, PT is a tangent drawn from an external point T. This is the external point T. This is the tangent here. Correct? Let's first understand the question, right? With center O, this is the center O of the circle. PQ is the diameter of the circle, right? If PQ is the diameter, that means this OP is radius, OR is radius, OQ is radius, correct? Disha, but nice question. Yes, I told you I'll be discussing some good questions in this, in this session. All right, so Q and T are joined by a line intersecting the circle at R, all right? And POR is 78 degrees. This angle is given 78. We need to find this angle, PTR, this angle over here that we have to find out. So how can we solve this quickly? I do not want the entire solution. Just give me this, only the steps, the main, main steps you can tell me. Yes. Penel, thanks for your good wishes. I'm confident that the mistakes I did before, I'll not do in, in that exam. And now I'm so good and confident. That's good. I'm really glad to hear that. Arjun, awesome session, ma'am. Thank you, Arjun. Yes. Yashad, easy peasy paper. Yes. Great. Ishtiyak Khan is giving the final answer. Deepak is saying you add these O and T and you get 180 degrees. Okay. OQ is perpendicular to PT. Yes, that would be my first step. Correct. So I can see that you are able to, yes, angle drawn by a half is half the central angle. Okay. Now let me tell you. Mm, okay. Now let me tell you how we are going to solve this question. See, this is a triangle, right? This triangle over here, this triangle QOR, right? This one. As I told you, O is a center. So this OR and OQ are going to be the radius, right? They will be equal. And we know that in a triangle, when two sides are equal, then their opposite angles are going to be equal, correct? So these two angles over here, this angle and this angle over here that I'm highlighting, they will be equal, correct? Nibha Chaudhary, you're a favorite teacher of maths, ma'am. Thank you. All right, so these two angles are going to be equal. You get one mark for just writing this step. Now... Now, using the external uh, exterior angle property, this is my triangle, right? This is the exterior angle for this triangle, the 78 degree. And we know that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. And these are the two interior opposite angles to it. Correct? Yes. So here, simply I will say that angle POR is equal to angle OQR plus angle ORQ. And we know that these two angles are already equal. So POR is 78 degree. Since they are equal, I can write them as twice of angle OQR. Yes? Right? All right. Correct, Gokul S. Yes. OR and PR. They are also equal. Right. They are equal. So, in that case, you will be able to find these angles. Right? Okay. So, here I can say that angle QOR is going to be 39 degree. Right? OQR. This angle is 39 degree. So, this angle is also 39 degrees. Yes. They both are equal. Now, what we can say here is that we know that this is a tangent to the circle, right? And tangent and radius are perpendicular at the point of contact. So this angle is going to be 90 degree. Yes. Uh, Sef Pasha, one more time. Okay, let's go back to the previous step or I'll tell you from step one itself. 
So we know one thing here that in this triangle, OQR here, these two are the radius of the same circle, right? OQ and OR. They are going to be equal. Now when they are equal, these angles are going to be equal. Why? In a triangle, when two sides are equal, their opposite angles are also equal, right? So these two angles would be equal over here. Yes. Army OTS world, amazing session. Thank you. Yes. Naruto-san, ma'am, please do sessions regularly. Almost we have sessions regularly if you see. Right? Four days anyways, we are having math session for grade 10th. Uh, all right. So here, uh, somebody asked me, can we, Nikesh, ma'am, can we use angle drawn by an arc, half the central angle? So you're using that theorem, angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it. You're saying that this is 70 degree, 78 degree. It is, okay, basically, Nikesh, you are saying if this is the arc, it is subtending this angle at the seven center, 78 degree, and it is subtending this angle also, somewhere on the arc so this will be half of it yes you can use that definitely see there are multiple ways to solve a question there is on you don't have to just go uh, according to just one method right fennel understood perfectly great all right okay so here these two angles are going to be equal right now we can say that using the exterior angle property this is the exterior angle right for this triangle oqr I can say that an exterior angle is equal to the sum of interior opposite angles, right? So this 78 degree would be equals to the sum of these two angles. They are equal, so I can say it is twice of angle OQR. So angle OQR would be 39 degree. Each one of them is 39 degrees here, correct? Yes. All right. Now let's take a look at the next step. So this is the tangent to the circle. So radius and tangent are perpendicular at the point of contact. So this is 90 degree. Correct. Now, if this is 90 degree, I can say one thing that in this triangle, in this bigger triangle TPQ, this is 90 degree, this is 39 degree. From here, you have the value of this angle using the angle sum property. Right? Alright. So, I can say that adding all them up, it's equals to 180 degree. So, put these values, subtract them from 180 degree, you get 51 degree. Now, this angle would be 51 degree in that case. Correct? Um, right? I hope it's clear to everybody. 360, yes, we can do that as well. That will also work. Ah, uh, we saw the sum, ma'am, time. Swaru, time for the sum. See, it's just a three mark question, right? S since it's a subjective paper, you will be writing everything, right? So maximum it will take, it will maximum take three to four minutes, not more than that. Yes, Nibha, we do not have any sessions on weekend, right? Understood, Yashad Kesarwani, Mohan Singh, yes, ma'am, Bhagyavardhan, right? Ami Otis, Seven world. Yes, ma'am. Clear. Nikesh, clear. Yes. Disha, you can use that. All right. So, I was clear to everyone. Shall we move ahead? Yes. Vinod Kumar is giving a lots of thumbs up. Charvi, Shika Agrawal. Learn something new. Clear. All right. All right. Let's take a look at the next question now. Great. So, in the given circle, O is the center of the circle, right? This is the center of the circle. Now, AD and AE are the two tangents here. This is the tangent, right? And AE is also the tangent. So, they are drawn from an external point. Definitely, their length are going to be equal. Correct? Uh, right? And BC is also a tangent. This is the tangent to the circle. Correct? So, proof, we have to prove that twice A is equal to AB plus BC plus AC. Yes? Okay. Now, if you see this, we have AE. Right? I can write this AE as AB plus BE. It can be written this way. Yes? Vicky Dhaiya, please refresh the screen. Yes, good evening, Alok Kumar. Sorry, Nikesh, I'm not able to understand the question. Three sets of tangents, what does that mean? Mm. Check the calculation one more time, Disha. All right. But right now, please focus on this. You can watch that later on in the recorded session. So here I can split this AE as AB plus BE, right? I know one thing that this B, just like in the, just like in that question that we just discussed a couple of minutes before I told you, there also we had a point on the line segment, right? This is the external point to the circle. So here this BP and BE are going to be equal, right? They are the tangents drawn from an external point. So they will be equal in length right 
करेक्ट निकेश माधवी या सूरजपाल दीज क्वेश्चन आर ट्रिकी Isha, you have missed a few questions, but that's okay. You can watch that later on in the recorded session. Yes, I just replied to your question. Okay. Now, I can. What I can do here is I can replace this BE with BP, right? So I can say that AE would be equals to AB plus BP. That's going to be our equation number one. We will have to frame equations here where we have AE also. Reason being, I need twice AE. I'll only get that once I make two equations having AE and I add them up. Then I'll get twice of AE. That's okay, Rishu Pandey. Whatever you have missed, you can watch it later. Right now, please pay attention to what I'm explaining right now. It's a very, it's a tricky and a good question. Okay. So this would be our first equation. Now take a look at the next step. Now I know one thing that this AE and AD I told you these are drawn from the external point A, so they are going to be equal in length, right? Okay. So I can say that this AE I can split this up as AC plus CD, right? Now C is an external point again. If this is an external point, so these are equal in length, right? So CD and CP would be equal. Now replace this CD with CP, same way we did in the previous one. So AE would be AC plus CP. So till now, what we have done is let's just let me just give you a summary. So you take this tangent, right, AD, and you split them up. You have AC plus CD. Now you know that the CD and CP are going to be equal. You replace this with CP. Similarly, you take this tangent, right, and split them up. You have AE equals to what? AB plus BE. Now you know that BE and BP are equal. Replace this with BP. And AD or AE are anyways equal, right? We have these two equations. I'll simply add them up. So we have two AE, AB plus BP plus AC plus CP. Whatever you have on the left hand side, you add them. Whatever you have on the right hand side, you add them. Right? Now we know that BP plus CP that's going to be BC. Right? So here I can say that it's going to be BP plus CP. This becomes BC. We have AB, AC, and that's what we were supposed to show here. Hence proved. Learn something new. How is AE equals to AD? That's because uh, this is an external point, and we know that length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal in length. See, there are only two theorems in this chapter. One is this one, which I just told you. Another one is that radius and tangent are perpendicular at the point of contact. There are not much, uh, I mean, much concepts that we have used in this chapter. Yes, clear, ma'am. Super question. Army OT seven world. Yes. So and uh, uh, thank you, fam, for the session. Byju's always come up with great sessions. Thank you. Crystal clear. See, Amitha done. Yes, ma'am. Swaru, crystal clear. Yes. Ah. Uh, yes. Use the tangent equal theorem from equation. From equation, equate them. Equating them, equating them will not give you the result. You need twice of AE also, so you will have to add them up. Yes. All right. Mm. Third step, Charvi. All right. So in this third step, see in the previous step what we got. I told you that this AD and AE are anyways equal, right? We split this AD as AC plus AC plus CD, right? So AD is basically AC plus CD. CD and CP are anyways equal. I can say that AD is equal to AC plus CP. Correct, and AD and AE are anyways equal because they are also length drawn from an external point. So I'll write here simply that it is AE equals to AC plus CP. Correct. This is one equation. Similarly, here this AE can be written as AB plus BE. BE and BP are equal. I'll write this BE as BP. Simply add these two equations up. Once you add them up, you get this. Now this BP and CP, what do they give you? They give you entire BC. This is the result that you get. Sef Pasha, you are the best teacher in maths, ma'am. I clear understanding. Thank you. Ishika Agarwal, bye. Just always help me get out of my doubts. Thank you. Thank you for such positive words. Thank you. Yes. Char, we understood, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Kushagar Goel, good question. Disha Bhatt, yes, ma'am. Understood. Great. Um. Fennel.
In the given figure, tangents PQ and PR are drawn from an external point P to a circle with center O such that angle RPQ is 30 degree. A chord RS is drawn parallel to the tangent PQ, then find angle RQS. It's going to be a four mark question. Right. So here, what we are given here is we have this external point P and these are the two tangents. They are going to be equal in length, correct? Right. Yes, steps are necessary in subjective papers. You get do not get marks according to the final answer, right? You get marks according to the steps that you are writing. So please take care of that thing. All right. RPQ. This angle is 30 degree that is given. Now a chord RS is drawn parallel. This is the chord RS that is drawn parallel to this tangent PQ. All right. We have to find this angle RQS, this angle. So how will we find this out? Yes. Quickly. Yes. Anjita, it is not like that. The chat is moving so fast, right? So I'm not able to read all the comments. It just happens. Yes. Uh, Anjita has given the answer. Fenil gave the answer. Charvi. Wow. Now let's check the proper steps. So first of all, we know one thing here that this PR and PQ are going to be equal, right? Why? Because this is the external point. They are from here, two tangents are drawn. Now they are equal. If they are equal, so in this triangle, these angles are going to be equal. Why? Because in a triangle, when sides are equal, their opposite angles are also equal, right? So I will say that this angle over here and this angle over here are going to be equal. Now we will apply angles and property in this triangle. So we get the value of this, let's suppose this angle PRQ, that's going to be 75 degrees, correct? Deepak, I'm explaining the steps only. Gayatri, I am on step 1 right now, not step 2. Yes. Alright. So here, this, these two angles are going to be equal. So using the angles and property, you get the value of angle PRQ. That's 75 degrees. So this will also be 75 degrees. Yes. So this, this is very simple to find out. Now let's take a look at the next step. So question says that this chord RS is parallel to tangent PQ. This is parallel, right? So this QR is nothing but that's a transversal. Yes. Now you can see that a Z is formed here. So whenever we see a Z, that means alternate angles are formed, right? Alternate interior angles are there. So these two angles are going to be equal. Angle SRQ and angle PQR. Yes. All right. All right. So angle SRQ here, this is what? That is... 75 degrees. Yes. So I can say that this angle ORQ over here. So over here, this is 75 degrees. Correct. Now this in this triangle, if you see here, this triangle here, these two are equal, right? These are the radii of the circle, right? So these two angles are going to be equal because in a triangle, when sides are equal, their opposite angles are also equal. And you see here in the question, it is mentioned that this is the tangent. This is the radius. So this point of contact, they will be 90 degree. Correct? Okay. So it's since they are 90 degree and this much part is 75 degree, I'll get the rest of the part, this much part, angle ORQ, and that's going to be what? 90 minus 75, that's going to be 15 degree. I hope that this is clear how we are getting, uh, how we are getting 15 degree. Right? Yes. Yes, Naruto San, 15, correct? All right. Okay, so this is 15 degrees. So this is also 15 degrees. This is 75. This is also 75. Now we know one thing that this angle is 15. This angle is 15. So using the angle sum property, you can get this angle. That's going to be 150 degrees. Correct. Suraj Pal is giving uh, lots of thumbs up. Goku, let's know, ma'am. It's not clear. Please explain it once. Let's take a look at the previous step one more time. So that's clear to everybody. Yes. So using the angle sum property, we got this angle. This is 75, 75 right now here this is what here it is given that in the question this is parallel so this is what that's a transversal so it will form alternate interior angles these two angles are going to be equal correct if this is 75 degree so this angle srq this will also be complete angle srq that will also be 75 degree right yes okay so here and this is the rate this is the tangent and this is the radius, right? Radius and tangent are 90 degree. If this is 90 degree over here, this much part, QR, this much part, I'm highlighting here. 
this is 75 degree let's change the color so we have this part this is going to be 15 degree 90 minus 75 yes thank you Daya no it's parallelogram is not formed here learn something new yes I hope it's clear how we are getting 15 degree Yashar till now understood great Nikesh clear ma'am yes Cranel yes Mahindra Prajapati Gokul yes yes ma'am now it's understood great let's move ahead so now we know one thing here that this in this triangle in this small triangle you see here this is 15 degrees right this is also 15 degrees using angle sum property you can find this angle correct that's going to be 150 degree now we know one thing this is an arc angle subtended by an arc at the center is double the angle subtended by it at any point on the remaining point of the circle so if this angle at the center if this is 150 degrees so this is going to be half of it that's going to be 75 degrees correct okay so moving to the next step this angle is 75 degrees right using the angle sum property I can find this out now right so this much part over here 180 degree minus 75 degree plus 75 degree we get angle RQS we already have the value of this angle right so here this much part is 15 and this much part is 75 that's complete 90 so here I'm getting this angle that's going to be 30 degrees yes only only the radius nothing else I've constructed here everything was given in the question Nikesh Mm. Mahindra clear ho gaya. yes all right 30 degree Lakshmi Kumari is saying no no for what you haven't understood it or what it what it is quickly shall I move ahead Gokul yes Sef Pasha clear Anshita is giving thumbs up Ankit is saying it's easy yes Kaha diya hai? RP tangent hai. It's given. See, it's given that PQ and PR are drawn from an external point to a circle. Tangents drawn. It is mentioned in the question. Yes. Bhavika, Rishu Pandey. Which step you want me to explain again? The last one? Dishabhat is saying last step. Surajpal, last step. Okay, okay, okay. Last step here, this angle QSR. This is 75 degrees, right? Now we need the value of this angle RQS. You need this value, right? So you can apply the angle sum property over here, right? So 180 degree from 180 degree, I can subtract these two angles. They have a value of 75 degrees. So you get the value of this angle. That's going to be 30 degrees, right? Yes. I hope it's clear now. D. Deepak, you read the question in hurry. Learn something new. Step 3. Step 3, you see this is this is 15 degrees. This is 15 degrees. Apply angles and property in the small triangle. You will get this as 150. Now this is a minor arc. It is subtending this angle at the center. 150 degrees, right? And the same arc is subtending this angle at, the, at any other point on the circle. So this is going to be half of it. That would be 75 degrees. You have learned this theorem in grade 9th. Yes? Alright. Clear? Clear ma'am, yes. All right, all right. Step two, step two is this. These are parallel, given in the question. This is a transversal, these are alternate angles. They will be equal, right? If this is 75 degrees, this will also be 75 degrees, correct? All right. So here I can say that this complete angle, see, this is 75. Now, this is radius, this is tangent, this is 90. So, rest of the part is going to be 15 if you subtract 75 from 90. All right. All right. Great. So, I hope it's clear to everybody now. Yes. Let's move ahead. Let's take a look at the next question. All right. Great. So, in the given figure, O is the center of a circle with radius 5 cm. This is the center. Radius is 5. The OP and OQ are going to be equal. This OE will also be 5, right? That is also the radius of the circle. First of all, make the figure, whatever figure is given, mark everything that is given in the question. Yes? Okay. T is a point such that OT is 13. OT is this, right? This complete length. OT intersecting circle at E at this point. AB is a tangent to the circle. This is the tangent to the circle, right? At E, find the length of AB. You need length of AB and where TP and TQ are two tangents to the circle. 
this is TP, this is TQ. I hope you have understood the question first of all. Do not read out the question in hurry. Okay. Yes. All right. Now let's take a look at the solution. Okay, so here first of all we know that this is the right angle triangle OPT. Why it is a right angle triangle? Question says that TP is a tangent. Now if this is the tangent, this is the radius. The radius and tangent are perpendicular at the point of contact. Correct? No, Nasser Ahmed, this is not from NCRT. So here this is 90 degree angle. So it's a right angle triangle. So that means this is 5 centimeter. This is 13 centimeter. From here I will get the length of this TP using the Pythagoras theorem. That's going to be 12 centimeter. So once TP over here, that is 12 centimeter, this complete length. And this entire length is 13. OE is what? OE is the radius, right? This is 5 centimeter. So rest of our part is 8 centimeter. First of all, tell me if step 1 is clear to everyone. So that we can move to the second step. Yes? Quickly, quickly, give me your loads of thumbs up or smileys in the comment section. Yes? Mm, PT equal to TQ. Correct. It's going to be equal. Yes, it's mentioned in the question. No? These are the tangents to the circle. So length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal in length. That's your second theorem in NCRT. Loads of thumbs up and smileys I can see. Okay. Alright, so let's move ahead. Let's take a look at the next step now. Akshara, secant is basically a line segment that is intersecting the circle at two points like this, right? Any two points. Okay, okay. Now you can see here that this PA, this PA and AE are going to be equal. Why? This is the external point. Length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal in length. Let's suppose that both of them are equal to X. Okay, now in this triangle TEA, this triangle, right? This angle again, it's going to be 90 degree. Why it is 90 degree? Question says that AB is the tangent. It's mentioned in the question. See, it's here. AB is a tangent to the circle. This is the radius. Again, it is 90 degree. So using linear pair, this will be 90 degree. This is a right angle triangle. Now, if this portion is X, complete PT is 12 centimeter. We just got the length in the previous slide. So this TA is going to be 12 minus X. This rest of the part over here, this TE, that's 8 centimeter. From here, this AE, we just, uh, we just assume that this is X. Yes? It's a long question, Info Nikhil. Yes. Uh, all right. I do not need the final answer right now. I just need to know if this much part is clear to you. Yes? Okay, so here I'll just substitute the values. 12 minus X whole square equals to 8 square, that's 64. Yes? Plus X square. Uh, Disha Bhatt is giving loads of thumbs up. Army OTC 7 ball. Yes, ma'am, clear. Charvi, you are giving the answer. Hmm? Disha is giving Mukul Ranjan. Yes, ma'am. D Deepak, ma'am, 8 centimeter. How? This OT, this is what? That's 13 centimeter. Correct, Deepak. Now, from O to E, this is what? That's the radius. This is 5 centimeter. Subtract 5 centimeter from 13 centimeter. You will get this rest of the length. That's 8 centimeter. Yes? I hope it's clear. Yes? Akshara theorem 10.2. 10, 10 You're talking about the theorem that's uh, the length of tangents drawn from an ex equal, uh, drawn from an external point to a circle are equal in length. Please watch the session that we did yesterday. That was a one shot session on circles. We have discussed that theorem in, in that session. Zainab 9364, once more. Yes. Okay. So here, this is 5 centimeter. Complete length OT is given, that's 13. This is the radius, that's going to be 5 centimeter. So rest of our length is going to be 8 centimeter. Correct. Now, this is the external point. So PA and AE will be equal. We are assuming them to be X. So complete PT over here. See, complete PT. Let me just remove this. It's got lots. It's got messed up. The complete length PT, if you see in the figure, that's 12 centimeter. I just assume that this is X, so rest of our part will be what? That would be 12 minus X. This is X, this is 8 centimeter. This would be 90 degree. Why? Because this is the tangent to the circle and radius and tangent are perpendicular at the point of contact. Yes? All right, all right. So I hope it's clear to everyone now. Yes? Then up, clear ma'am. Great. Let's move ahead. 
Let's take a look at the next step. Now we are just going to apply Pythagoras theorem. Simple mathematics calculation, right? Open this bracket up. We have 144 plus x square minus 24x equal to 64 plus x square. I expect everyone from you that these kind of calculations you can do very easily, right? You are 10th graders now. Yes? Okay. That's okay, Deepak. So we have 144 minus 24x equals to 64. So minus 24x equal to 64 minus 144. All right. So we have x equals to 80 upon 24. Simplify this, you would get the value that's going to be x equals to 3.3 .3 centimeter. This x is nothing but that's PA and AE. So AE is 3.3 .3 centimeter. What do we need? We need entire AB. See, this figure is symmetrical, right? If this is 3.3, .3, this will also be 3.3, .3, correct? If I solve this side of the triangle, I'll again get 3.3 .3 because measurements are same. So this is going to be AE plus BE, that's 6.6 .6 centimeter, that's the final answer. Yes, Keshi Vagela, 20 by 3, 6.666, correct? Dushyant Sharma, maths is love. I love maths too. Uh, all right. 6.6 centimeters, correct? Mahindra Kumar saying 32 centimeter. How come you are getting 32? Uh, yes. Third step, Charvi. Third step is this one. So once you get x 3.3, I am sure that this much part you must have solved, right? How we are getting AB as 6.6? .6? Since you see this much, if you see the two sides of the triangle, they are same. Same measurements, figure is symmetrical here, right? Measurements are same. So obviously BE will also be 3.3 .3 centimeter. We do not have to side, solve the second side of the triangle because we the measurements are same. This will also be 3.3 .3 centimeter. So we'll just write them twice. I'll simply add them up and I get 6.6 .6 centimeter. Yes, understood Deepak? Great. Uh, 6.6, .6, yes, clear everyone. All right. Okay, I can see thumbs up. Yes, the final answer is here. Yeah. Akash, Khadka, you made me math premi. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's. Lalita Kumari understood, ma'am. Aditi, clear. And Ashu Kumar, tomorrow you have your maths unit, unit exam. Any tips? I would suggest you whatever chapters are coming. Prepare them from NCRT thoroughly. Do not leave the examples and prepare the formulas well, do your theorems uh, thoroughly. Second thing, go through the some important questions of NCRT exemplar. If you are done with all of this, you can try out the sample papers, right? Just try out some random questions. You can check your pace as well, right? Clear? Yes. Great. Great. So this was the last question of today's session. So we have covered all the questions, uh, some challenging ones and some important questions from exam point of view also. And all these questions, you see, these are covering the concepts thoroughly. Yes. All right. Now, homework time. Yes. Okay. So this is the question that you can try out after the session and you can let us know the answers in the comment section below. So two tangents TP and TQ are drawn from an external point T to a circle with center O as shown in the figure. If they are inclined to each other at an angle of 100 degrees, what is the value of POQ? So this is the external point. Question is specifying these are the two tangents to the circle from an external point. So I'm just uh, emphasizing on this so that you get a hint that what we have to use here exactly. This angle is given that's 100 degree. Yes, I'm sorry. This angle is given that's 100 degree. You need to find out the value of this angle. Very simple question. I'm sure that all of you would be able to answer this. I can see the answers in the comment section, in the chat section right now. Great. All right. So those who want to solve it later, they can take a screenshot of it or they can note it down. You're done with everything, Keshvi. Yeah. See, if you're done with everything, that's good. But just keep practicing sample papers till your exam day. That will actually help you fetching 100 and 100, 100 out of 100 marks in maths, I'm sure. Great. Yes, Yashartha, I know that you actually responded to that question. All right. So this is not the end because we have lined up many more sessions for you from every Monday to Friday to make your exam ready. Now, let me show you what are, is going to be our next session. So next session is quadratic equations in one shot. Yes, we'll be covering all the concepts that you have in quadratic equations along with some questions in just one session. So it's on February 7th, that is Monday, 7 p.m. 
Yes, Keshvi, in school also revision is going on. Yes. So please pay attention whatever your teachers are explaining and try solving along with them. Yes. Uh, wow, Indrani Bhattacharya, 39 on 40. That's good. All right. And you know that we have free trial classes as well and link for that is given in the description. Also, please like, share and subscribe so that you get notified about the upcoming session. So, I'll see you soon on Monday and you know that what we'll be discussing, we'll be doing quadratic equations, right? Alright, see you then. Till then, take care. Thank you.